So today's video is regarding how to do the wireless print and scan using HP DexZ 3700 series printer and uh, how to do copy as well. So copy is quite simple so we'll start with that first. Switch on the printer, download the paper tray, place a page facing upward and then click on the copy button like black or color. Select it, the number of copies. Now it will take it automatically. It will scan the document and then it will copy and print that. So this is the easiest way. But the only thing is we you need to hold the page every time you want to copy here. So now it's going to print that copy. So here we can see it has started to copy. Now I'm going to show you how to do the wireless print and scan. For that we need to switch on the Wi-Fi direct of your printer. This is the button. Click it once. You will see the Wi-Fi light is on. Even on the screen same icon will appear. Now go to your Android device or any smartphone you have. Download the HP Smart app from the App Store. Once you download it, now we open the Wi-Fi setting and we look for the printer's Wi-Fi here. As you can see, HP DexJet 3700 series. It will ask the password. You can enter 1234578. Click on connect button. Now again go back, open the HP Smart app. Now we have to add the printer here. So click on the plus button on the top. And you will see this screen here. It displays the name of the printer. Click again. And it will add the printer here. Now we can do the wireless print and scan. So let's start with the print first. Click on the print document section. And select any document from here you want to print. Now on the final page we can adjust the page range. And also the number of copies. And click this blue icon. It will send a command for the printer to print so just wait for that so you can see it has started to print here now I'll show you how to do the scanning go back in your app section on the main screen look for printer scan click on that and once you come to this screen place a page facing upward here and click on the scan button and it will take the page in and you have seen if the page is not inserted properly it won't go in and then you have to correct the position of the page and then you can transfer it here now the scan will appear here you can adjust the size and all details of the scan you want and once it is done click on next and here you can add more pages or you can save it thanks for watching